It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. The art of translation is a very hideous process because the target of translation is to translate whatever you hear or read from a text into the target language. So for this context, for this video, we're talking about the art of translating Japanese into English because it seems as though that there has been some sort of controversy going on in regards to how to translate words and I figured that I would respond to the thread. Now, I'm not really familiar with Japanese. I haven't studied Japanese formally. I only did Spanish for high school and so the only second language I know is Spanish. But at any rate, I feel as though I could respond to the thread because I have done some sort of translation projects for Spanish. Like I did like videos for Los Maconios on various occasions. I also did my own videos with subtitles for English or Spanish. And so the art for translation for me is actually not anything new. So I have done like a lot of projects for translation at this point. But at any rate, let's begin with the thread because it's really interesting to respond to this. Translation discourse. If you leave words in Japanese, you have a very, very good fucking reason. Nichan and Nini and sorry, Senpai have no business being left in English. Again, unless you have a very good fucking reason, the default should always be 100% English. I'm not sure if I actually agree with that. Since the context that we're talking about is Japan, there are some concepts and stuff that does not translate well into English because there's like a lot of loan words that we use every single day for English to refer to Japanese concepts that we don't have. Let's take for example anime. Now anime refers to of course to cartoons from Japan but in Japanese I'm sure it means like something like a cartoon in general. So anime refers to cartoon for like Japan but like anime refers to Japanese cartoons in English. Another example is tokusatsu. Now, tokusatsu refers to, of course, the giant monster stuff or special effects movies in Japan. However, tokusatsu refers to that particular type of genre in Japan for English. Another example is kaiju. Now, kaiju refers to like a strange beast or like a monster in Japan. Now, kaiju as a genre is referred to Japanese monster movies in English. So, and also samurai. The concept of a samurai is, of course, uniquely Japanese, and so we don't translate it to, like, warrior or whatever for the English equivalents, or ninjas or whatever. So, in that sense, I think it's very important that when you try to localize it or translate it to the target language, that you can actually, you know, pay attention to the, cult like the cultural nuances to it. Because without the cultural nuances, you will actually try to, you know, think that the audience is dumb by trying to dumb it down to people. Because the thing is that not everything outside the United States has a sort of same culture or values or views and things. It's very important when you translate something like Japanese into English that you also take into consideration like um, the various cultural nuances that Japan actually have. So let's continue on. As many have said, manga and anime translations suffer from a legacy of bad translation choices. There was a time that language was used to as a bar to enter into the fandom. You need to learn the lingua to enjoy. That time is long gone. Manga and anime are no longer niche fandoms. They're literally the best-selling comics in the world. They are being read by people who couldn't give two fakes about fandom. This is good. This is what we all wanted all along. So past time to raise that bar on translation. I do in fact agree that translation should be good for any type of target languages. However, just because anime and manga are like bestsellers outside of Japan does not mean you get to translate stuff literally all the time for concepts that are not even Western concepts. And so I think for localization, keep words like samurai, keep words like senpai, keep words like these other stuff that we don't have in the West. That way people will know where it's from because in Pokemon there was this episode I remember 
where one of the characters said that it was like some sort of like what was it a rice ball was actually some sort of uh I forgot it was like a rice ball was some sort of cookie or whatever I forgot the exact dialogue but they changed the rice ball into something different that way people could actually relate to it but that's not the case in the slightest so just because something is the best selling thing in the world does not mean you get to change it on purpose just because you don't think people will understand it. Let's see. Let's go back to this thread. I always wanted my translations to be as accessible as possible to every reader. That means no songs, no chance. That put me at odds with some readers and editors. But I don't want to translate it for otakus. I want to translate for all readers, all of them. Well, that's true. Like There are some people that do use... Sama, San, and uh, Senpai, whatever, for their translation, and that's fine. It kind of depends on some sort of setting, like, if we're talking about some sort of medieval sort of setting, like, you know, with the samurai and stuff, it might actually be good to use those kind of, you know, horrifics for those sort of translations, but if we're talking about, like, anime that was, like, inspired by Western stuff, like, for example, uh, Trigon or, like, Cowboy Bebop. Maybe the idea of using those type of things for translation would not go as well. So it kind of depends on the project. Because, once again, like, the, there's no one true way to actually translate Japanese. That's what I'm trying to say. That every single time you translate Japanese, like, you have to, you know, take into, like, a lot of consideration. So there's no one way to actually translate it. The only kind of issue, of course, is try to make sure that it actually translates well to the target language. Oh, and finally, let's see. Manga and anime are there to entertain. They're not there to teach you about Japanese culture. Doing that is a disservice to the original creators. They're creating entertainment, not lessons. If you want to learn about Japanese culture, take a class. That is so elitist, man. That is so super elitist. Read a book. There's a bunch of resources out there to teach you about Japanese culture. But that's not what anime and manga are is designed for. More than like Avenger Endgame is there to teach you about American culture. Dude. Like there are some stuff that will teach you about Japanese culture if you were exposed by the anime or the manga. Like food like sushi. You would not know about sushi unless you read about it from a manga or like you know whatever. So maybe like anime and manga could be a gateway to introduction to Japanese culture. Because once a person reads a manga or an anime for the first time, they want to actually read more about Japanese culture. That's how people get into Japanese culture. By going to the anime, the video game, or the movie, and search it up, and then read more about the historical aspects about Japan. So basically, I think those type of stuff actually helps people when it comes down to various cultural issues. So this whole entire thread was like really, really, really bad. It was just awful. Again, I'm not some sort of expert in Japanese, but the idea that you have to translate one way and one way only, that apparently like Japanese anime and manga are not like a gateway to like Japanese culture, those type of takes I read right now are just bad. Like really, really bad. And the worst part about this guy Apparently, he's actually a professional translator, and I don't think, like, it's so really, really professional to actually go out against people that way, because I think the best way to translate stuff is actually by trying to make it accessible and add the cultural aspects to it. But anyway, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time.